Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to cover what restart readiness assessments are. So restart readiness assessments are released by the state of Ohio, Department of Education, uh, to ensure that students are ready for uh, the state test, at the end of year tests. So they are categorized into two uh, different groups. The first one is called benchmark tests. These are full length state test uh, mirrored assessments and in the end once students submit their tests teachers are able to see a very detailed report indicating students achievement levels such as like basic limited advanced uh, proficient uh, you'll be able to see all those beforehand uh, and then use that for instructional purposes the second one is called checkpoint assessments uh, these are more targeted intervention sort of assessments because they have six to ten questions uh, covering a particular topic. Uh, each in each subject, uh, for each topic, there are two checkpoint assessments. Uh, so, in, for your tested subject area, you might have ten or fifteen, ten to twenty uh, different checkpoint assessments that you can administer. So let's uh, start a TA session to administer a restart readiness assessment. So again, th these are not practice assessments because with the practice assessments, students do not need to use their state ID. They can take it as a guest, but with the actual TA interface, uh, you're going to start an operational testing session where your students need to enter their state ID. So let's say I want to conduct a checkpoint assessment for grade 9 algebra. I want to see my students' uh, levels or understanding about functions. So it's going to cover, it's going to have 6 to 10 questions covering functions. Uh, let's say I want to, okay, once you start your session, your you will share your session ID with your students. Uh, they will get on their Chromebook, uh, get on Secure Testing Browser, and then they will type in their first name. They will type in their student ID, which is their state ID, and then they will type the these numbers that I highlighted. And Ohio is gonna be there already, and then they will need to type in these six digits. And then once they click Sign In, uh, you will approve your student before you approve them uh, they will choose the test that they want to take if you if you chose multiple tests instead of just one let's say I also want to choose statistics let me see where that's at okay this right here now students will see two options when they type in their first name state ID and the session ID they will have two different test options they will pick whichever they want to start and then once they do that, you will be able to see that number increasing in here for your approval. Once you approve, your student will start answering the question. You will follow their progress on your screen. Uh, once they are done, you'll be able to see how many questions they get right, how many questions they got wrong. So that way, you can have more targeted interventions. But if you have the time to run a full-length uh, assessment mirroring the actual state test, uh, that's an option too. The reports are going to be very detailed. Uh, you'll be able to see what your students' current levels are. So that's all for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, and hope to see you in another testing video.